How's it going? Governor Abbott today signed uh, another executive order. Uh, this one is, uh, yeah, it's a little bit disturbing. Uh, I, I ain't going to read all the fluff at the beginning, but we're going to go ahead and straight to the sort of the meat of it. One of the paragraphs, the last three paragraphs, one of them reads, no person other than a federal, state, or local law enforcement official shall prov provide ground transportation to a group of migrants who have been detained by CBP for crossing the border illegally or who would have been subject to expulsion under the Title 42 order. Folks, what that means is, just to give you all a heads up, our uh, NGO here, uh, as of tonight, they're closed. So they will not be accepting any more individuals uh, starting tomorrow uh, at, at the NGO, uh, at their facility there on Las Vacas, because they work to get these individuals out of our community. So when Border Patrol begins to turn them loose, they're just going to turn them loose in our community, uh, probably at Stripes, because that's where uh, you know, they were able to, to get transportation out. But with this order that the governor signed today, uh, you know, I hope something changes tomorrow, but with this order, it seems like even Greyhound or anybody else that, that might contract or they might contract with, and it does say uh, ground transportation, so unless they can get a plane ticket the way I'm reading it, they're stuck in our community uh, unless they're going to walk out. Uh, so I'm trying to give you all a, a heads up what we went through in Memorial, uh, Memorial Day in that week that they had over 1,300 that they had released and you had all these people just hanging around our community. Uh, it's probably gonna have the same uh, and just get worse because now there's no way for them to get out of, uh, get out of our county. Uh, we were, uh, it's re it referenced a town, uh, La Jolla. We were looking at the video a little while ago. Uh, I understand how they could be concerned. Uh, there was a family there that had COVID uh, actually at a restaurant, uh, just just like nothing, and they knew they were sick. Uh, they were uh, immigrants uh, or migrants or whatever the damn proper word is. Uh, illegal aliens, I guess. Uh, at the end of the day, I don't care if you've come across and you said it's okay, you're still illegal. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and throw my two cents. I don't understand how we can accept there so many damn nations. Uh, you, you, get a, you get your little piece of paper and you're okay, you can be turned loose. But you've got our borders closed and you have families that live over here and their families live in Mexico and they can cross with visas and everything else that legally can cross and uh, damn bridge is closed. So as far as I'm concerned, uh, the policies of our, of our federal government, the policies of our president, they're just screwed up. Uh, I'm gonna throw that out there. And uh, you know, people asked if I uh, backed Governor Abbott with what he was doing and trying to help us, I do. Uh, we're going to have to look into this more tomorrow because I think with, with this one paragraph, these individuals, they're not going to be able to leave our, leave our county. So what the hell are we supposed to do with them? Uh, I, I, don't, I, don't think, uh, <laughs> I don't think he thought this one through. Uh, in our reality, you know, he, he's being pushed, our governor, you know, close the border, close the border, close the border. This isn't going to do it. Uh, and you individuals that, that you know, just as far left and as far right, uh, we need to get together and, and we need to figure out that the governor, uh, he is my governor, he is the governor of the state of Texas, but with what he did in paragraph one here, I don't know what we're going to do as Valverde County. If Border Patrol uh, still releases them into our county, what are we supposed to do with them? Uh, before at least we had an out and, and they could jump on a bus because they don't want to be here. And they could leave. Right now, what I'm reading, they can't do that. They will remain in our in our in our county. So I really hope that uh, you know Governor Abbott that that you uh, you rethink this one. Uh, you know there has to be another another method or 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 something that we can do other than holding them here in our county. And if if uh, if you have a plan. Uh, I sure wish you'd share it with us uh, because this one paragraph really scares me. Uh, again, uh, Governor Abbott is our governor. I appreciate everything he's done with the soft-sided processing center, the individuals he's brought in, the fence that he's putting up. It's a great, you know, I, I, I greatly appreciate it. 
but Jesus Christ, uh, to have them stay in our community, to stay in my county because they can't be transported out. You know, uh, I just hope what I'm reading here is not absolutely uh, correct in, in what I'm thinking. And if you have a plan or if, you know, one of y'all's individuals that works for y'all, if y'all could just give us an idea of what your thinking is, other than now it's just my my problem and, and every citizen along the border, and now it's just our problem and then we have to deal with it. Uh, but again, you know, I'm getting off subject. The reason I wanted to do this video is because, you know, y'all need to be informed. As a citizen of Alberta County, we're gonna try our best to inform you. Uh, and the fact of the matter is, uh, there's no more ground transportation for these individuals and the individuals that, that provide this transportation if you keep reading the paragraphs, their vehicles could be uh, impounded or confiscated or whatever. So again, we're fixing to see an influx of more people around our county and our NGO text messages. I just got there pretty much shut down until something else happens. So there's going to be no place to, to turn them loose other than in our county and they can't get transportation out. Uh, it's that simple. I know I was rambling. Uh, but either way, just thought y'all should know uh, with everything else that we're going through, uh, this just got slapped on our plate. Y'all have a good night. Y'all be safe. Love y'all.